So, hi, my name is Farid. <coughs> I uh, want to start this tutorial, uh, continuing from the last one where we did the uh, automatic tracking. So, in this one, we're going to uh, deal with the manual tracking. So, to start, I have some footage here, uh, just uh, uh, footage from Forest. So, um, camera is moving uh, over the, uh, like a boom effect uh, backward. Uh, <coughs> it's booming up, as they say. So we go to the tracker and in the tracker, to place the tracker, you use the magic wand or just hit the C key uh, anywhere you want. Uh, you think it's a good spot to track and then hit the D key to track forward if the arrow is pointing on the right direction. This arrow can change eventually by hitting Shift R to change between <coughs> backward, uh, um, tracking backward and uh, tracking forward uh, by hitting the D key to track forward and S key to track uh, uh, the backward. So in this case, <coughs> the pointing to the right, so we can track forward. If you hit the S key, you just um, um, go frame by frame uh, backward. You know, you are not uh, you are not um, uh, tracking. So and the F key is go to the next uh, near frame, and the A is uh, uh, the first frame. Uh, so shift a also go to the first frame in the footage and shift f go to the last frame of the footage so if you hit a key it will go back to the next uh, uh, previous frame previous frame previous frame and to the first frame okay so where we place the first uh, tracking is here so we can hit d key or just hit the play button if you think it doesn't move or of uh, you know just babysitting with tracking frame by frame or semi-automatic by using the the uh, the spacebar anyway we have uh, when you when you finish uh, for example you can go to the a key and control r to uh, change the direction and hit the spacebar to track backward so we track it backward all right and then when it disappears it disappears so it goes outside the screen so we don't need them we don't want to um, bother ourselves with the tracker, so we just hit the plus button to lock it, or just push this button. Uh, sorry, this button to lock it. So to put K frame, you just hit the uh, zero on the K pad, on the, uh, on the keyboard, on the num numpad key keys, and uh, or you just hit this button to say K no. But we use the um, you know the uh, the, the shortcuts to. To move quickly so as i said the s s a s d f are all the um the k that are uh, next to each other it's uh, very uh, convenient to have them in one spot so that we can move quickly also shift r to change the direction is also in the same area in the same spot so it's uh that's why we're using them um, and the right for the right hand we can use the zero to uh, put k frame or plus button to lock the uh the tracker after finish tracking anyway we can uh, you can track backward forward as you want so we can choose again some hit the c key click and you can scale it church area or something then you hit the d key you know to track forward you know like like here and you look at the magnify also things you can uh, use also the five key if you put press the five key it will uh, what is called you you will uh, um, uh, wait the tracker is spun to follow or lock the view so that we can have a better view of tracking if, if something goes wrong so you can see it stay on the screen doesn't move oh shift plastically and um, well, you can use the frame by frame so if you lose it you can come back to the next good frame hit zero to um, refresh the uh, it will put the keyframe on the timeline so to refresh the pattern and you can go and you can start we we'll lose it again or can hit the zero to put the keyframe only to uh, refresh the pattern as i said and uh, all right we we'll lose it because it goes outside the screen so we can hit the plus button just to uh, make sure that we lock it before we move to the next point maybe this one um, yeah let's try this one so we will uh, track backward so we have to hit this button or shift R and then click the uh, this, uh, the the, uh, the uh, space bar just to, s to move quickly 
instead of going frame by frame. So it's good. We can hit A and we hit 5 to go back from the go outside from the move the pan follow and unlock the the view we can track also you know something in foreground like here we can put the so we will move backward right and then f key to go to the, the frame next frame uh, next keyframe and then we shift R and then click outside click spacebar to move forward so we lose it we go back we just just have to hit the uh, keyframe to refresh the patterns because uh, like it's you know you can uh, whenever you move the 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 point or the position it will put uh, automatically a keyframe so that then you can track forward what you can nudge it with the uh, four eight six two um, uh, arrow case on the uh, numpad on your keyboard so that you can you know you can have a, a better adjustment so like this so we are finished so the tracking is looking good we can hit the 5 key to lock the and look if we if we have some issue or not looks good we can hit plus to unlock it shift a to go to the first frame and move from there so hit the C key put the keyframe hit spacebar to move if you see it it move you can hit the A to go back to the first frame and then D key to move frame by frame track frame by frame if you see it it move maybe we can put the keyframe there and again there you can see I am refreshing the pattern so that it keep uh, refreshing pattern until we finish hit plus to lock it and so it is again something uh, very interesting also by using this uh, method using the uh, the manual track is to sometimes you need some extra uh, you know some extra tracker to when you pass it to the compositor and you want to you know put something there or um, this is what calling the uh, the zero weighted uh, uh, tracker so let us make a solve first we try to solve with the few tracker that we have so we have a camera solve as you can see we have a, a path here uh, to smooth the path you can go to the filtering control and uh, you know play with this frequency and then try to uh, smooth the, the curve using this one and reset filter and go outside see that the the camera path is a little bit smoother as the uh, you can see it will filter this better redo yeah it looks like this when you filter you can apply the filter you can see what it does to the curve it's a little bit um, uh, heavy but you know anyway zero weighted keyframe as i said so you just uh, after the solve when you go to the tracker you stay in the tracker and you put anywhere you want to to put the tracker and then hit the zwt to make it a zero weighted k and then you can track forward just like uh, you did uh, for the other one we lose it because of the uh because the tracker is uh, which tracker i used let me But it will be covered from the leaf here and therefore we lose it so yeah something like this you know it will be covered and we lose it you know i'm putting k-frame ever so often so that i can keep uh, so the camera is trying to keep the same position you know all right lock it and this one is now zero weighted it don't contribute to the solve or change the solving it's just a point in 3d space that we can use to press something and uh, even the compositor can use it to press something in the 3d space it will be uh, taken account uh, or adjusted with the camera solve that we already have so you can put as many um, uh, zero weighted track as you want uh, thanks for watching. We see you in the next uh, tutorial. <laughs> Ciao.